The Bamboo Lab X1 and X1 Carbon are rolling out to the masses. Here are 10 really awesome 3D printed upgrades designed by the community. We're gonna kick this off with this tiny little print right here. It's the smallest one on the list. This is the AMS PTFE button. If you've ever taken your AMS off after you've put it on, you know you need this small but mighty print. This little print slips right over the end of the Bowden tube and it allows you to push it in when you're ready to remove that PTFE tube to take off the AMS. This little print makes it super easy to do and it's definitely a must have. Number two on the list is ironically the biggest print on the list. This is the poop bucket. If you have an X1 or an X1 carbon, you need a poop bucket because every time the machine uh, switches filaments, it cuts and then purges that filament down into the poop chute and out the back of the machine. It does this quite a bit because every time you switch filaments, it happens. So you definitely need something back there catching all of that poop. Machine poop? I think we're calling it poop. Don't forget to empty this out because if you let this fill up and it clogs up your poop chute, that is not good for your machine. So the poop chute is number two on the list. Coming in at number three is this little scraper right here. It really makes it handy so you don't have to pull out your Bamboo Lab razor every time you wanna get those purge lines and stuff like that off of your bed. It's also much safer for kids than the Bamboo Lab little razor thing and it'll keep that filament from going up underneath your fingernails. We've all been there, right? Tell me we've all been there because that hurts. <laughs> this little guy is super fast and easy to print as well, so you definitely want to check this one out. The fourth on my list is this build plate holder right here. It actually allows you to store three build plates upright, so it keeps them nice and handy and ready to use whenever you need them. It also is a great space saver because it doesn't take up much space next to your machine and your three build plates or up to three build plates are ready to go. So if you have the build plate holder, you probably wanna make sure it doesn't fall over when you load it up full of prints. So number five on my list are the feet designed to go with the build plate holder. Uh, it's a quick and easy print. One goes on each side and it really does a great job. Oh, great job. Oh. And it really does a great job of keeping this thing upright while your build plates are in there. For number six, I wanna talk about the AMS desiccant trays. These little guys fit into the desiccant tray area in the AMS, and they allow you to fill them up with loose desiccant, not the little packages that come with the machine, uh, but actual loose desiccant. This version actually allows you to use the stock cover, which I really like because it kind of covers it up and makes it look natural or like it's supposed to be there. Uh, but you can actually print a cover if you want to make the cool colors as well. It's much easier, in my opinion, to fill these up with the loose desiccant and then recharge them uh, by baking it when it gets saturated. And I think it's a little more economical and better for the environment because you're not buying all the little packets all the time. You can just keep reusing that loose desiccant. In this case, the loose desiccant I ordered didn't get here on time. So I'm waiting to use these, but uh, you get the general idea. Real quick, if you're getting value out of this video, please smash that like button. It helps push the video out to more people in the community just like you. And also, if you're not subscribed, I humbly ask if you could hit that subscribe button. It's free and it really helps the channel out. Now back to it. As we check out number seven on the list, it's this really cool holder right here. And this thing holds nozzles, a full hot end, and an extruder all together in one organized place. This is really cool if you have different size nozzles. Maybe you wanna swap them out or have visibility on the sizes you have, or maybe just a couple of the same nozzles all together in one place. I like this print a lot. It helps keep everything organized and it looks really cool when you have this thing loaded all up. After that one, we wanna check out number eight on the list, and this is one of my favorites. Uh, this is a Y splitter for the back of the machine. If you ever had an AMS and you wanna use a single spool on the side, you have to take everything off. This allows you to keep that last Bowden tube and the other Bowden tubes intact. All you have to do is unplug the AMS so there's no power to it, and then feed your other filament into this one and it goes into the machine and voila, you can use this and your AMS at the same time if the AMS is unplugged. Uh, if you don't wanna use the extra spool, plug your AMS back in and you're in business using the AMS. But this thing is really cool. You don't have to keep taking out that Bowden tube that goes into the machine. So check this one out, number eight 
on the list. Number nine on the list is these two pieces right here. Uh, they fit together really easily like that. They sit in the front of the machine and it helps you get all of those little filament pieces out that kind of congregate in the bottom of the machine sometimes. This is a super smart little print. You definitely won't be sad if you print this one. Last but not least are these 3D printed rings that are designed to go over cardboard spools. I think this is a really cool idea because it stops the cardboard from being broken down inside of your AMS. But I had some issues. Uh, both of the designs that I printed didn't work out really great. Uh, this one right here is a really cool model. The problem is it doesn't fit over the uh, Polyterra spools that I have by Polymaker and uh, it, it just doesn't quite fit over the spools. So I didn't like those. This style did an okay job. It fit in here and everything like that. But the problem I had was the center part ripped off of the ring when I went to take it back off the spool. And that happened on both sides. So if you know of any really good covers or something to go on the cardboard spools, specifically the Polymaker ones, so I could put them in the AMS, let me know in the description below. I would love to print them out and try them. I really like this idea. Uh, that's why it's number 10. I think these will work with some spools. It just doesn't work with the Polyterra PLA that I have. I do have to say I might be able to reprint these and make it more strong or something like that. And maybe the centers would stay in. Uh, and knowing they're a little bit fragile, I'll probably be more careful in the future. But I did like this style. It was really cool. And it was... Whoa. Whoa, and it was definitely worthy of being on this list. There you have it. There are 10 really cool 3D printed upgrades for your Bamboo Lab X1 or X1 Carbon that are designed by the community. I love these upgrades. I love that the community keeps coming up with such awesome things. And if you think I missed anything or should check anything out, drop it in the comments below and I will definitely print them and check them out as well. I love seeing the community come up with such awesome ideas. Wait, 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 before you go, there's actually one I didn't show that I love, but I couldn't put on today. This is the spool holder extender. This is a must have if you're gonna use the back spool on your machine. I didn't show it today because my screws weren't quite long enough. I have 25 millimeter screws and I printed out the 30 millimeter extension. It's not quite long enough, it's not gonna work. So what I need to do is grab some longer screws and get this put on but I will kind of show you where it goes. It, it's just so cool because it extends the spool holder and you can get those wider spools on there. Kind of gets them away from the machine too. I like that a lot. So check out the spool holder extension. All the links that we've shown are in the description below. Get them while they're hot. And if you haven't printed this, you need to.